Hello everybody, hot on the heels of the death of Tartini, we have the birth of uh, Pietro Gnocchi, um, uh, this new composer that we've uh, started playing a bit of, who's really rather good. Um, he was born in uh, Alfianello in northern Italy. I just googled Alfianello and I came up with the local sewage works, <laughs> uh, which is um, no doubt what will inspire me next time I'm playing one of Gnocchi's concerts. Um, but um, in all seriousness, um, I'm um, working my way through. I'm on Concerto 5 now for four violins and, and uh, viola, cello and continuo. And um, it's really, really, really good stuff. A um, couple of criticisms, though. And a big, big criticism. The last movement of Concerto 5, um, he starts it in the viola. I mean, I cannot think of a worse idea than starting it in the in the viola part. You know, we've got to be waiting them for, for them to start. The, we're going to be here till Christmas until we actually get the piece going. Anyway, thankfully, it is open D string, open A string, B flat, C sharp, and then we can all b breathe a sigh of relief when the cello comes in. Um, so, yeah, I don't know quite what he was thinking about. Maybe he had a fiddle player in the viola part, I don't know. Um, anyway, and the other thing is, uh, for it was a bit of a editor's nightmare um is when his use of figures which look a bit like telephone numbers i mean if you look at that there you go um all the way along there uh it's uh, yeah they, they can look a bit like telephone numbers but one of the really annoying things is where things like where he uses four flat which in the depending on what key you're in comes up quite a lot he often just puts four which is not very helpful um, and means every time, every time he does that, I have to make a note in the critical comments at the end, which is really boring. So anyway, there you go. And also, he um, when he talks about sharp ten or flat ten, he always writes. Um, I don't know if you can see where. So there's a sharp ten nine flat. Um, oh yeah, he writes. He doesn't bother writing the flat in the manuscript. He just writes nine, which is a bit lazy. There you can, if you can see there. But that's his ten. He writes an X. But anyway, um, anyway, not really, not really complaints. It's just a bit, but great stuff. So uh, yeah, look out for some uh, uh, gnocchi discs. Maybe we could put um, a picture of sewage works on the front cover of the album. How, what do you think? Anyway. <laughs>